In this video, I am going to provide you with a few examples to make it a little clearer or a little easier to understand when it comes to taking a stairway that might have taller risers and creating a stairway that will have smaller risers. So in the first part of the video, I want to provide you with three different stairways that will each have the same sized step, 10 inches. So we'll have a 10 inch deep stair tread on all of the stairways. And in the first few examples, we're going to use a floor height that will work for our seven inch risers. So here we have seven inch risers, seven and a half inch risers and eight inch risers. And this is just to provide you with an example of if you had a seven inch riser, and you wanted to increase the size, then you might need to remove one of the steps. And the same will be true if you have a stairway that you want to reduce the amount of riser height, then there's a good chance you will need to add another step to the stairway. So let's go ahead and start with our first stairway comparison, where we will have a stairway with a seven and a half inch rise and one with a seven inch riser height. So seven and a half inch riser height on this one. And you can see where if we wanted to make the riser height a little smaller, that we would need to subtract a certain amount from the stairway. And this would be without adding another step. And in our next example, we're going to take the stairway with the eight inch risers and bring it over and compare it to the seven inch risers. And one of the reasons why I'm showing you this is to provide you with an example of why you might need to remove the stairway and rebuild it because it could be difficult to subtract two or three inches from an existing stairway. And by the time you're done watching the video, you might even think that it's going to be easier to remove the stairway anyway and rebuild it than it might be to add another step to the stairway. So again, in this example here, we would need to subtract an inch and then two inches need to be progressive. One inch, two inch, three, four, five, six, and seven inches. And in our next example, I'm going to use the stairway with the eight inch risers and then have the last riser here eight inches. And to do that, I went ahead and raised the height of the three floors. And keep in mind that I'm only using these as a reference to try and drive this point home. So let's go ahead and bring the 8 inch stairway over here and compare it to our 7 inch stairway with the idea of having 8 inch risers and trying to reduce them to 7 inches. And of course the first problem we're going to run into is that the height of the last step or the first step isn't going to work which would provide you with a reason why you would need to add another step also. So here we have the same height for the total rise, except for the fact that each one of these last risers are going to be a little different in height. And yes, I will be getting to the main point of the video here soon. So just trying to wrap your mind around what it would look like if you had a smaller riser in a stairway that might have had taller risers without adding another step. And now for the grand finale, let's go ahead and add another step to the stairway. So here we went ahead and added one more 10 inch wide step. And by adding another riser and step to the stairway, we have reduced the riser height from eight inches to about seven and an eighth inches or 7.11 for the overall individual riser height. And by taking a look at this stairway here, you get a pretty good idea how you can reuse the existing stairway and simply add material to the top of each individual tread, gradually making each one from the top down to the bottom a little taller until you get to the last step where you would need to actually add another step. And of course, I need to point out that we are using stair steps that are the same size, 10 inches. Each one of them is 10 inches. 
And if you were going to make it 11 inches, then you would simply add to the top and add to the front. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the ways you could do this. And one of those would be by adding a variety of different sized materials. So let's not forget, you can get materials that are about a sixteenth of an inch wide, an eighth of an inch wide, quarter of an inch, three eighths, half inch, five eighths, three quarters, inch and an eighth, an inch and a half if needed. Now here, to get our seven eighths, we simply added a half inch piece of plywood and a three eighths of an inch piece of plywood. Now you don't need to be right on. If you're off about an eighth of an inch, you're probably still going to be fine. So keep that in mind when you are adding material. So for the next one, we are going to need to be a little bit taller and add an inch and three quarters. So that would be two pieces of three quarter inch plywood and a piece of quarter inch plywood to create our seven and an eighth inch step all the way down the stairway. And in the next one, we are going to add two and 11 sixteenths. And to do that, we're going to use a piece of inch and a half three quarters and three eighths of an inch plywood. And I'm just throwing these ideas out there. You can use uh, this method right here on all of them if you can. And that would be to rip down a two by four and then put a piece of three quarter inch plywood on top of it. And you could do this for the rest of the stairway as each step needs to be progressively larger. And on the bottom, I did it a little different. Now, this method right here will work for wood framed floor or a deck, but it might not work for concrete. And I'll provide you with an example of that here in a few seconds. So here, all we're doing is adding to the top of the wood frame stairway. And of course, we will need to build another step. If you're going to be attaching it to concrete, then you're going to need treated lumber. In most cases, you're going to need to fasten that lumber down to the concrete and then build the step the correct height. And you can use a variety of different fasteners just as long as that new step is fastened to the concrete. And hopefully I didn't lose anybody, but if I did, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the video comment area. Or you can email them to me. However, I'd rather have them, if you don't mind, in the video comment area so that other people can see your questions. And if they have the same question, I won't have to answer it more than once. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you learned something from the video or enjoyed watching it.